Hello again and welcome to my creative African cooking channel in the Dubai Fafa. Me always on you in the Dubai Fafa. Come on, do do and me quill Fafa. Come on, green do and blow Fafa. I love the flavors that only love my bala. In the Dubai Fafa. Hello gorgeous people, we meet again for another experience with Fafa. Now if you have been following me on my Instagram page in Dubai Fafa, you will know that I did a poll and I asked if one would like this amazing red curry, yeah, recipe made with monkfish or the evergreen mm -hmm, okra soup recipe that I made yesterday because I had been craving for the soup this entire week and I had to treat myself. Mm -hmm. Now, if this is your first time, you're welcome and thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to click the subscribe button while you're at it and the notification button, which means that each time I upload a video, you are notified of it and you do not miss a thing. And to my loyal subscribers, subscribers the love is deep i love you for you now of course the main ingredients being the okra fresh from the shop mm -hmm. and my holy grails so i've got my ginger garlic aniseed and onion and this time i'm going to be adding my smoked shrimp and i'll be blending all of this together till it's well combined my favorite thing to say i guess now here in my clay pot i've got my crabs yes i got that as well and then i've got the good almighty smoked fish thank you mama for sending this my way me love you for you mm -hmm. so this is where the flavor is coming through so i'm going to place this on a medium heat because we're going to be doing some infusions as i mentioned i've used half the ginger garlic onion and the aniseed and i've added the dry trims to it and i've blended it i've added a bit of water and that is what i'm adding here i'm going to add a little bit more water because i need the stock that's where the flavor will be infusing as it happens you know what i mean mm -hmm. and so this is on a medium heat and i'm just going to allow this to boil and of course i've added my habanero chili because you need that kick Mm-hmm. <laughs> now naturally I'd leave all the list of ingredients and measurements on my blog in to do by fafa.blogspot.com. So do check it out. So after about 10 to 12 minutes, this is just gonna be bubbling so beautifully. Look at that. And look at how dark that stock is. I just want to make sure that everything is cooking perfectly. The crab is absorbing all that flavor of the ginger, the you know, the smoked shrimp, everything is happening there. Now I've washed my okra and I just like to add a little bit of water in the bowl whilst I then move on to the next stage of, you know, chopping my okra. So I take the heads off as you can see here and then skillfully, you know, by pushing my thumb or my fingers backwards, I just use the knife and I just keep cutting and cutting until I get like the desired sort of um, consistency that I do want here. And so you repeat this process, you know, until you've chopped your okra so nicely and easy. I mean, one can also use the grater in grating the okra, but I prefer this way. I like my okra. I like to see those little round bits in there. I know my mom, she prefers it when it's like, you know, finely chopped, but I like it this way. Mm -hmm. But the choice is always yours. It be your mouth. What goes into your mouth is your own business. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. <laughs> As you can see, I've finished chopping my okra and now moving on to my onions. Now you'd notice that I'm chopping my onions in different shapes here or sizes, may I say. So others are thinly sliced and others are chunky because I just need that texture in my soup. It's all a deliberate attempt, you know. So when you bite into the soup and you taste every morsel, it's like different textures, different flavors fusing together in your mouth. Just say, Party where they happen for your mouth inside. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know why I say these things, but I do. Anyway, have you clicked the subscribe button yet? If you haven't done so, please do me that great service of doing that now. And the notification button, don't forget that. So here I've got my okra, my habanero chili, and my onions ready. Now, okay, so I've got this red mullet, okay, and I got it from my fishmonger. Now, 
it was frozen. So when I brought it home, I thought it was like all dressed. Oh, of course it wasn't dressed. So it meant that I had to, you know, descale it and gut it and, you know, yeah. So this was me just trying to do that. Now, of course, reason why I prefer my fishmonger to do this is when you're descaling fish, it can, you know, it can, the scales can just end up going everywhere. So the best way is to find either an old plastic bag or paper, or, you know, something that you can discard. And then just surround it wherever you're doing, like you're descaling. And it means that I can trap all of that in one. So now that I've finished, you know, gutting my fish, I'm just going to wrap this in a polythene bag. Now, what happens is if the bin men are not coming in that week, I would rather not put this in the bin. So if I know that they come in the next day, then I put this in the bin. If not, it goes in the freezer. Yes, because I don't want any smells or fishy smell. And on the day that the bin man comes, yes, I take it out of the freezer and throw it away. So that's how you can maintain, you know, that nice sort of neutral smelling bin. <laughs> Especially when you finish cooking fish. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Now I've disinfected all my surfaces. I've washed my fish. And here it says in the clay bowl, I'm drizzling with a little bit of olive oil. I'm going to add some salt to taste. At this moment in time, I've preheated my grill to 180 degrees. Now, earlier on in the week, I did make some squid rings and I also stuffed my squid with some jello fries. It's also another recipe that's coming up down the line. It's incredible, Ankasa. And the remnants, I just left it in the freezer. And I know that would come in handy because that's the thing I don't like any waste stage of food. So yes, that's what I've added and I've just placed that in the grill. Now, next thing is I've got my tilapia fillet here as well and I've just drizzled with a little bit of olive oil and a little bit of salt and yet again that is going into the oven to also grill and I'd grill this for about 25 to 30 minutes whilst I now come back to think about my stock. Now this is looking good and you can see that the juice it's just reduced to half the quantity. Now what I'm trying to do is take the bones out of my you know smoked fish and also you know the parts that's just not needed so that just looks good you can just see that it's breaking up and it's just packed with natural flavors and look at that stock it's just intense you know you can see it says it's got that smoky crabby flavor it's got that smoked shrimp flavor in there so i'm just going to take some of the skin off and also i'm going to take all the bones and anything that you know i don't want in my soup because of course when you know one is enjoying the soup you don't want them to choke on any of the bones so do take you know all these necessary precautions especially when you're cooking for somebody else you know even for yourself because you know you'd have that risk of you know hurting yourself so yeah we're doing the divide and conquer. Now, even though that I've taken the skin and the bones off, I'm not going to throw that away because that would also make for another stock. Is you a hand. <laughs> so I think that I've got like, yeah, I've got the chunky bits of my fish, the parts that I do want to use for my okra soup. And now it's time for me to include this to my amazing stock. Mm-hmm.
at this red mullet. Look at this. Catch it. And look at the tilapia as well. Mm -hmm. Like one logo logo line. Flavors, yet they ba me quiv on talk ba but I enjoy na flavors they will come ba. The flavors have arrived. Let's start with the infusion. So using my wok, I'm just going to add a little bit of water and I'm just going to bring it to the boil. So when it just starts to simmer and I can see that vapor rising, mm -hmm, I know it's ready for me to do my own shenanigans. Now, if you can see in the background over there, there's another recipe that I'm creating. This is multitasking. It's not easy what happens behind the scenes, you know, but I enjoy doing what I do. That's the difference. So now I think this water is perfect for me to now add my chopped okra with the onion and habanero chili yes and then we're going to be steaming this bad girl mm -hmm. now at this point you know i've only got about what let's say about eight to ten minutes for this soup to be ready because i don't want anything overcooked i just want it was so just perfect you see so i'm mixing everything till it's well combined as you can see here and then i'm going to add a little bit of bicarbonate soda which would ensure that the okra retains its green color and also it activates that mucilaginous nature of the okra you know that sliminess yes absolutely you need to draw the thing next to you so when you're cutting into it you draw in the line into your mouth i told you it'd be your mouth for what goes in your mouth it'd be your business <laughs> anyway so i'm adding a little bit more water and i'm just gonna mix everything together till it's well combined but i'm not gonna allow this to cook so this process is taking me about three minutes so far so just at this point when i'm just mixing it i can see that yes the sliminess is activating perfectly and that's the beauty about the clay pot it retains the heat so now I'm adding my you know the smoked fish and then the crab and you can see that the stock is almost reduced I've added a bit of water and I'm just mixing everything together till it's well combined this is so easy at this point it's bish bash bosh you're getting it done mm -hmm. and now of course what am I gonna do I don't even know hmm what do I mean by I don't know what I'm going to do next? Of course, I do know what I'm going to do next because I'm going to infuse it with more flavor. So, you know, my holy grail, my ginger, onion, garlic, and aniseed mixture. Yes, this is the point that I'm going to revive that flavor. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to scoop just about two tablespoons full worth and just add it to this. And I'm just going to mix it all together. So you're now going to be getting that gingery, aniseedy, onion flavor, just almost at the end of this dish. You know what I mean? <laughs> this is not any other food. Don't do dog blood, but any Allah. Yeah. So the next thing is my fish. I need to add my fish because as I said, I've got up to a maximum of eight to 10 minutes to finish this. You know, you don't overcook anything. So I think the tilapia is gone. And at this point, I'm just going to add the tentacles of the squid that I grilled with the red mullet and also the juice of that red mullet as well. So this is just fishy goodness. This is not any other food or flavor that so what came for me. Now, at this point in time, I'm adding my leafy greens. You can use kale, spinach. In this case, I've got these amazing garden eggs leaves that I found in the local Asian grocer, and I was excited about it. We call it locally guma, and I've just, you know, chopped it slightly because this is like bish bash bosh, and I've added my red mullet. Now, I need to keep this red mullet whole. You see you. I need it to infuse its flavor, but also I need a hole because it's like, that's just one red mullet in the soup. <laughs> but look, it's going to add its own flavors. Look, you can use any fish of your choosing. You don't need to stick to this kind of fish that I've used here. Whatever is readily available to you, just think outside the box, you know, and just create a healthier option for you. Of course, I'm adding my salt to taste. This is done. Now, at this point, I've turned the heat off my soup. But the residual heat, which is exactly what happens with a clay pot, the clay pot still will be hot for at least another 10 minutes. So at this point, I just need to, you know, turn the heat off because I know that residual heat will cook it through. And this is it. I'm done. 
This is not any other food. This is indidu by Fafa, flavor packed. And I've added some, you know, beautiful, chunky, mild green chilies over there, as you can see. And as you can tell, they have an arid chilies there. There, look at the uh, red mullet. It's whole. I retained it. Yes. Naturally, I'd leave the list of ingredients and measurements on my blog, indidubaifafa.blogspot.com. So do check it out. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter as indidubaifafa. So do pass by and say hi. Narelle, thank you very much for my theme song. Me love you for you. And until my next experience with you guys, take care of you. Be nice, be beautiful, and guess what? I love you for you. Take care.